cosy start for some of us, then dry, fine, with plenty of warm sunshine. But how long will it last? I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Mm, last night. night. Yes. So lots of things going on. You're right, a supermoon. So the moon is at its closest point to Earth, which means it's in perigee. We had a full moon last night, mm -hmm. so perigee and full moon equals a super single um, full moon is named. It was named after the Native American Indians who used to name them through the year so they knew where they were. So this is the harvest moon. Right. So this is the moon that they would start to do their right. harvest in in September. Night clear skies, perfect viewing. And actually, a few nights ago, the moon was of like a reddy orange colour. Yes. A fair bit of pollution. Keep your eyes peeled for the next few nights. So we're having that full moon by night and a full sun by day for many of us because the jet stream sits way to our north. That divides the cold and the warm and it's way to our north. We're having this warm air move across the country. Temperatures are above average and we stick with these high temperatures as we head through the rest of the week. It does mean with clear skies and light winds, a little bit of shallow mist and fog develop for some of us, but for many, there were clear skies, which meant you got a glimpse of that full moon. Now, as we head through the next few days, we see those similar conditions, but the thing we'll notice is a little more cloud infilling across England and Wales for the next few days but with the sunshine it will burn off as we head through the day so temperature wise we're still looking at 24 maybe 25 across the southeast and even across Scotland as the warm air rises across the mountains and then drops we could get to 24 maybe even 25 degrees here as well tonight like I said yet again clear and dry for many of us some shallow mist and fog through England and Wales and tomorrow we do it all over again and it could be warmer still until then, nobody had ever looked at the moon other than with the naked eye, ours. Because <laughs> you could see the craters properly, the shadows cast by the mountains. No one had ever, no human had ever it's left incredible. them speechless. That's amazing. I, I've seen it through a really powerful telescope. And yeah, the, a picture of the moon, with seeing it with your eye that close, it is incredible. It's breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Cool. Last week, he brought us rain, but this week, he is definitely our ray of sunshine, and there will be plenty of it as we head through this week. Andy, of course, in Blackpool, many people head there to the seaside. If you were heading there today, it is set to be fine and dry with sunshine. So maybe... And it is blue skies that take us through because we still have our high pressure. Our weather fronts stay out to the west and stay out to the south until this weekend. A band of rain moves in through southern areas on Saturday and Sunday. So the south turns wet, but the north stays fine and dry. Today, some early mist and fog that soon clears and then another good looking day ahead. So first of all, shallow mist and fog through central and eastern areas. Further north, we have these brilliant blue skies. And for all of us, if it is cloudy where you are to start, the cloud will burn off through the day and temperatures higher than they were yesterday. 25 across the south, 23 or 24 across the north of Scotland with light winds and clear skies and yet again, we see mist and fog returning. So let's see how things pan out as we head through the next seven days. So as I mentioned, high pressure stays with us and it keeps the rain away and it keeps us pretty warm, this mild feed of air. So across the north, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern areas of England, temperatures above average, but turning a little cooler as we head through the weekend and into next week. Percentage chance of rainfall. This is just our theme so we can look ahead and plan ahead. It is dry across the north for the rest of the week, the weekend. Signs we could see some showers by Tuesday next week, but that's a long way off yet. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Again, we look at our temperatures compared to where they should be for the time of year to give us a feel for how it's set to be. And it is set to stay mild for the next week. Percentage chance of rainfall, it's a real transition. Today, tomorrow, fine and dry, but slowly we see weather fronts moving up from the south, bringing rain or showers through Friday, the weekend, and into the start of next week as well.